Uh, my name is Mike Bond. I'm the chief engineer, head producer at Wolf Lake Studios. Uh, I started in music very early in life and uh, started doing audio recording uh, in my teenage years. Uh, went to college for audio recording and uh, ended up um, getting completely immersed and fell totally in love with, with recording and producing music for, for bands. My name is JP Sadek. I'm the owner of Wolf Lake Studios. I've been a drummer for almost 30 years now. I've uh, played in local bands in Ottawa, uh, played around the Ottawa music scene pretty much since I was 17 years old. Uh, when my wife and I were looking around at different properties in the area, uh, when we stumbled upon this place, there was a giant cavernous empty basement. Looking at what we were working with here, it was pretty ideal for uh, a business, something where bands could come in, uh, feel very at home, and given the setting, uh, could really be away from everything and work on artistic creation. JP and I met about 10 years ago in the Ottawa music scene. Uh, we were both playing in bands, uh, different bands at the time. We eventually got into a band together. Uh, we first worked together on a project for our band in another studio that Mike worked in. Uh, I really admire Mike's production techniques. Uh, when I moved out here, and wanted to build a studio, uh, Mike seemed like the ideal partner. Working in all those studios over the years gave me so much experience um, that when I came to start designing Wolf Lake Studios with JP and with Peter, it was just, you know, I had so many ideas. This was probably somewhere around my 11th to 13th studio build. Initially it was an empty space and we just sat down and put our, you know, brains together and took a look at how we wanted the whole space to end up. Basically what we're building build is a house inside a house. None of this stuff touches the, the original house. We had to pour a floor here, down here, and also support the existing floor structure above. We basically figured out how big we wanted the control room to be, how big we wanted the floor to be, uh, and then also having the ISO boost in here too for multi-track off the floor. And we were four guys and we pretty much worked all winter to do this it was it's a it's a really a, it was a slow process every point in the studio uh, and control room and floors you know getting everything to actually come to this central spot so, so we can literally reroute anything in a studio to any point that we want to in order to maximize the flexibility of of everything in the building as well was another thing that took us quite a while to sit down and design how how we all wanted it what we're looking for is essentially in the live room to amplify a drum kit. Mike and I are both drummers. Even Pete, who helped us design the place, is also a drummer. And so we built these rooms with that in mind. It was basically we wanted a drum kit amplifier and something that we could tailor make to get all the tones that we were looking for. Over the past few years, we've definitely amassed a, a nice collection of equipment out here. We've got some interesting microphone preamps, uh, a really nice uh, console with 24 beautiful preamps on it. We've got a really nice mic collection, um, interesting guitar pedals, uh, a whole bunch of guitar amplifiers and guitar cabs and bass amplifiers, um, different drum kits, all kinds of things. The remote location is also really cool um, because it allows bands to kind of get away for a weekend. We can kind of work uh, when you feel like working and uh, you know take breaks when necessary and they're, you're not really feeling under the gun by hours and time limits. I mean, look behind me right now. This is Wolf Lake Studio for you. It's kind of out in what seems like the middle of nowhere, down a dirt path. You feel completely isolated and focused and damn, Relaxed. is it ever nice? Yeah. Relaxed. I really enjoy the process of experimentation with bands and uh, you know, love throwing out ideas for them to try either with sounds or with you know, playing, composition. Um, so sometimes I get really involved in the process, um, but it always depends on the feel of the, of the session and on the artists and what they're looking for. You know, you come up here and it's just complete isolation and beautiful scenery and nothing to do but hang out in the recording studio and create. 